Y'all, I love to see Christine with her kids making memories, just smiles all around. I love the love. I love happiness. Look at these smiling faces. Look how happy. Uh, Y'all, this right here, this is kind of stuff right here that needs to be covered more. This warms my heart. It really does. Now, shout out to Soap Opera Spy. I will link this article we are about to read in the description below. They've done a good job on the article. So, y'all, let's go ahead and dive on in. Sister wives, McKelty, loves that her mom, Christine, lives in Utah. Sister fans heard the badly kept spoiler about Christine leaving Cody long before they actually made the official announcement. <clears throat> toot toot. Hey, beep beep. Notice they still don't give no recognition to who actually, me, broke the story a few months back. I will link the videos in the description below. I mean, that should just give you all the reason in the world to smash subscribe if you haven't already. Because, child, I'll be breaking this news before the news even breaks, okay? And no, I don't get credit for it, so no, nobody will be talking about it for months. Keep that in mind. By the way, you can go check my record, okay? Check check them videos. Check them dates on them. I'm just saying. Sometimes you gotta brag on yourself and you work. By the time the trailer teased a possible split and a move to Utah, fans already knew as much thanks to various sleuths. Well, who was the first sleuth? Rumors trickled out after Cody and Christine made the official split announcement that the kids were shocked and upset. Allegedly, they had no idea that their relationship was on the rocks. TLC fans found that hard to believe. Now, McKelty confirmed that she's happy her mom lives in Utah. Rumors about the Utah and Split, not a happy time. Many fans told Christine that they felt very happy that she dumped Cody and moved to Utah. Well, as she said on Cameo, she isn't exactly jumping for joy about separating from Cody. While she finds life as a single woman a lot less complicated, obviously, the Split brought some heartache. Just like any other couple with kids, they have a long history together. Plus, in Christine's case, the extended family includes the other wives and their kids. So, family dynamics need to be navigated as well. Bear in mind, she and Cody will co-parent truly. These days, the sister wives star lives around the corner from her daughter, Aspen. <laughs> Look, I pointed out the flooring. I pointed out the paint. I pointed out the baseboard, y'all, a few months ago. Mm -hmm. Now, the idea that she never discussed her problems with Cody with her adult kids in full doesn't make sense. Clearly, Aspen knew very well that Christine looked for accommodation in Utah. Plus, Christine admitted that she spoke to McKelty about her marriage. Now, she wanted to know if a... Polygamous marriage brought many more problems than a monogamous relationship. Mind you, a lot of rumors sprang up around her move to Utah, and some tabloids speculated that Janelle Brown may have joined her. Actually, Janelle confirmed that she remains in Flagstaff. Now, I wonder, instead of getting storage and paying for storage for her camper, why didn't she just park the camper on... Uh, Robin and Cody's property. I mean, do they not have property? Yes, they have property. I'm talking about like outside their house. <laughs> like in their driveway. I mean, why didn't she do that? Robin wouldn't have it now, was she? Robin said, girl, you are not parking your camper on my driveway. Hell to the no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> she really did say that, y'all. I'm just imagining that in my head. I'm just saying. Contrary to being upset and crying about the split, McKelty sounds upbeat and really happy about her mom relocating to Utah. She probably is. Hell, I would be. This weekend, she took to her Instagram and shared her feelings about it. 
It came after she saw her mom and Truly over the weekend. She shared a photo of herself with her own daughter, Avalon, Christine, and her youngest, Truly, in her caption. She said, it's so fun having my mom and Truly close to me. I love that. That is so sweet. Look! Look at baby Avalon. Oh, my God. So sweet. She told her sister wives fans, we had a lovely evening stroll last night, just a walk to dinner and then this gorgeous view. She added, we walked to shopping and hashtag Ubered home. It was great fun. She seems to love the unplanned and random visits with her mom these days. Wise to the ways of social media followers. She also advised them that Tony wasn't in the photo as he was away playing a chess tournament. Now, look, sister fans, sister wives, show me sister fans, <laughs> sister wives fans spoke up in the comment section. Oh, we know how vocal the fans are now. One of them wrote, so glad they're closer to you now. Plus another fan fan, how wonderful. I see lots of happiness in your smiles. Notably, Christine's brown son, Peyton, also liked the post. I mean, why is Cody basically non-existent in these kids' lives on social media? These kids post with their mom. They post what they do in their everyday life. You notice who's never around or in those posts? That says a lot. That pisses me off. I mean, it does. I'm over here like, you asshole. Like, it's one thing for you never to be in your kid's life and they not ever know you so they don't know what to miss. It's another thing when you have been in their lives and then you just ain't there no more. But you're there for your other kids. Talk about traumatic. Talk about affecting your mental health. Them kids, I can't imagine spending time with my daddy growing up Doing things with my daddy. My daddy being around. And then all of a sudden, my daddy not being around. He's just gone. But he's spending time with his other kids. And I have to see that. Can you imagine how them kids feel? You know who ain't imagining how them kids feel? Cootie. Cootie Brown. And he should be. Oh, selfish. I've always thought he was selfish. Can't stand his selfish ass. Ugh. Need to think about your kids. Dude, over here wrapped up with Robin's kids. I mean, y'all, I can't. Uh-uh. It makes me want to go all the way off. No one he never <laughs> go see these videos, so he ain't gonna know. But dude, if you do, you need to man up and be in your kid's life like you have been. Like you can't just up and disappear. These are human beings with feelings. You are supposed to set an example. What are you doing? You know what's going to happen. When these kids grow up and be adults, they're going to remember this. Because they're at the age. They remember things. They are looking around. They This is affecting their mental health. I'm sure of it. And look, I bet some people are going to be like, well, just because they don't post together doesn't mean they're together. Yes, it does, because these people, this family, they post. Okay, this is what they do. This is why so many people follow them. We love seeing the love. Well, a lot of us do. Okay, not everybody. But we, I, <laughs> I can speak for myself. Let me not speak for everybody else. I love seeing the happiness. I love seeing the love. I love seeing kids happy. I love it. And we know the family usually posts, you know, what they're doing every day in their daily lives, whatever their trips, blah, blah, blah. Cootie ain't nowhere around. So we take a note of that. We see you, Cootie. We see you. Mm. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. I am dying to read y'all's comments. I love reading your thoughts and your opinions. And let me tell you something. We agree most of the time. I love that. I love that we have a community here where we can just sit back, kiki, and talk about these crazy cuckoo shows. And these folks, child, these folks right here. And where is Janelle living? She said she's in Flagstaff. Where is Janelle living? Let me know where Janelle 
Is she with Robin and Cody or has she got another rental? Is she staying in Mary's rental? Y'all let me know. Y'all go on over there to my true crime channel, Crime Line. I uploaded two new video updates yesterday. One about the Suzanne Morphew case. One about the Summer Wells case. Let's discuss that. I also have a vlog channel, Southern Living, where we just vlog about, you know, daily activities, which is boring to most, okay? I'm going to go ahead and tell you, so it ain't for everybody. But, hey, what is for everybody? But if it is for you, if you would be interested, please subscribe. I would appreciate it so much. And if you just don't care about those channels, please smash that subscribe button under this video on this channel right here. And click that bell to all. That way you'll be notified every time I upload. I love you so much for watching. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Go reach out to somebody and be sweet. Love y'all.